Howdy, I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor of the Sluice Goose Gold Drop Pater and Gold Separating Processor. Over the last five years, I've done quite a bit of research in developing the Gold Drop, 12 prototypes. Well, also, I've been testing this as a dredge system. So now I'd like to introduce you to the dredge system that I built, testing the Gold Drop. What I used as my gold was lead. Lead weighs 11.3 grams per cubic centimeter. Since I couldn't afford the gold to test it, it was a great substitute because it still weighs a whole lot more than dirt. So if I got the lead to drop, I knew gold would be no problem. So now I'd like to show you what my research has developed. This is a shot of a river system I created in order to test the gold drop as a dredging system. The barrel in the foreground is my suction barrel. I have a 2 inch line sucking 3 8 minus material through the gold drop there on the left in the background and then sucking through the pump there in the very background and the discharge then line comes up to the barrel on the right creating a waterfall into the suction barrel. Now I'll show you how it works. The hose in the foreground there is my suction hose sucking the 3 8 minus material out of the barrel through the gold drop, through the pump and discharged back into the barrel on the right creating the waterfall into the barrel on the left. I added Number 11 lead shot, 50 thousandths diameter, along with copper and brass, various things to test the effectiveness of things dropping out of the gold drop. And this is the early version of the gold drop. You can see the suction line coming in on the left there, going in and up and out and being sucked out on the right through the pump. All the material then comes in falls into the trap, the heavier materials, while all the lighter stuff, the sand, heads out through the pump and back into the barrel. Those are my flow meters there off to the right. And now you'll see what's happening inside the trap. You can see all the gravel spinning around in there. And also you can see there's that piece of brass and a piece of copper in there too, kind of spinning around. And then you can see air bubbles running up there, it's a little mal malfunction. So there's their system there with the elutriation water and uh, supporting the dirt or the rocks in this case. And that is the collection jar there where all the lead will accumulate or gold if you're dredging with this and collect in the jar. As the material is being sucked from the barrel into the gold drop there, you can see that all of the rocks are spinning around and all the little heavy lighter stuff is up into the trap. Well, you can see there, the lead is feeling at the bottom because it's so heavy and it's dropping out because the elutriation water is supporting the rocks in the trap and will not allow them to drop out. Now, you can also see in the trap, there's copper and brass floating around. You can see even down at the funnel, there's a piece of copper. And all of these materials, there's more copper and brass floating in there along with the lead. But the lead, so small, a piece of copper just dropped out too. But you can see the elutriation water is forcing the rocks, keeping them suspended up in the trap and will not allow them to drop out. While the lead and the copper and the brass will drop out because the density is greater than the rocks. This is the view in the collection jar. The lead is dropping into the jar and you can see it's pretty much just lead. There isn't any dirt or any other debris in there. Purely just lead falling out. As the rocks are being sucked through, through the pump and back into the discharge barrel. It's pretty dramatic how it works. Here's a situation where we ran into a lot of lead and you can see it's basically trying to accumulate in the funnel there. 
with all that big mass running around. You can see there's no sand in there. It's just basically the lead falls into the trap and then into the collection jar. This is the most dramatic when you run into a big pocket of lead. You can see the funnel, the trap funnel is just full of lead. It's just dropping out of there just like nobody's business. Well, all the rocks and all the dirt is gone. The rocks stay in the trap. You can see there's creating a lot of space there. And then you can see in the jar, lead just continuously is falling and collecting. That's what I have for a dredge system. So in the future, we will be testing further to develop this system more completely. But in the meantime, I just thought I'd like to show you that you'd be interested in seeing what I've been testing. So thanks for watching and thanks for being interested.